Going straight to my colleague Aishwarya, who's joining us right now from the Tikri border, and Amit also continues to be with us from the Singhu border. Aishwarya, first to you, a sense of how things look right now. What is it that you're picking up uh, from the authorities, given that there is enough uh, intelligence and more uh, to, you know, to understand that these farmers are actually prepared for a longer haul here. This is a huge, huge concern. Well, Stella, let me tell you one thing which is very clear and the authorities have been told about it is the fact that this is the Lakshman Rekha. The Tikri border for the farmers is the Lakshman Rekha and the kind of preparations that you can see not just in terms of the barbed wires but what the authorities are also doing, the kind of briefing and the debriefing that is taking place at the moment. We'll get you visuals of the kind of preparations that are being done. You know, we have told you about the intelligence report, the report which now says that more than 1,000 farmers, 1,000 tractors are are now marching towards the national capital and the farmers can do it, Sneha. So there is no ambiguity in anyone's mind, be it the government or be it the authorities. The agencies also know that if the farmers have said that they want to move to the national capital, it will be difficult for them to do so, but it's not something that is out of bounds for them. And that's the reason why you are seeing this kind of deployment. What you are seeing are the rollers here, what you are seeing are the Vajravans, the cranes and even the tents that have been put up. All this is being done because we all saw almost two years back the, the way in which the farmers had reached the borders and also steadfastly making sure that they stuck to the borders for almost a year, a little more than a year actually, Sneha. And that's the reason why we are seeing massive deployment, briefing and debriefing taking place here at the Tikri border. They are also keeping a very close eye on the route that the farmers might be taking all the way from Punjab, might be crossing Haryana and then coming to the national capital. So the authorities are leaving no stone unturned, making sure that they are prepared. And what you are seeing is a massive preparation because, as I told you, this is the Lakshman Rekha for the farmers. Very clear instructions being given to the authorities authorities that they will not be able to cross over into the national capital. Sneha. Absolutely. These are pictures, in fact, from the Tikri border. Look at the manner in which the paramilitary forces are all, in fact, geared up, uh, ready for any untoward situation. Amit also continues to be with us uh, from the Singhu border. Amit, uh, tell us what do you see around you and uh, what really, uh, you know, is, in fact, the uh, anticipation uh, that, you know, this is going to continue for a while at least for a couple of days with authorities not wanting to take any chances. After all, we are just, like you said some time ago, an announcement away from the Lok Sabha elections pretty much, isn't it? Uh, uh, true, Sneha. You know, the spot where I'm standing right now used to be the very spot where uh, uh, the Sanyukt Kisan Morcha's uh, stage was set last time around during 2020 and 2021. But this time around, you have the Delhi police personnel marching out there, you know, taking stock of the situation, making sure that the every bando bus is in place and is working smoothly as per plan. The uh, CRP Javans, the para uh, forces are here with anti-riot gears and so are the six feet of seven feet tall concrete walls which have been put even on the flyover. What we can see on the national highway right now that the road coming from the national capital to uh, going heading towards the Haryana uh, border is also being choked right now. There's discussion between uh, these uh, RAF uh, personnel and the Delhi police personnel. Exchange of words, uh, you know, uh, exchange of briefing and debriefing as uh, Ashwarya was also indicating that's happening at Tikri border. A similar kind of visual is actually unfolding at the Singhu border. This is a fresh round of talks between the Delhi police and the rapid action force, uh, you know, giving a clear cut what's the instruction coming from. Uh, maybe from the top, from the top of uh, top officials of Delhi Police, what needs to be done and what all efforts has to be taken. If at all the farmers are able to break the barricades at Sambhu border and further each and every barricade which has been set by different district police, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, district police officials in Haryana. So the route is pretty clear. We have seen all that happening. Barricades flying in the air at Sambhu border and then the tractors and trolleys coming towards uh, Panipat and then a similar fate being met to the barricades uh, which were put in Panipat in 2020. You know, there were similar hopes by the administration that they will be able to stop the farm organizations by digging up the national highways, by uh, building up concrete walls, by putting the anti-riot 
uh, forces on the ground, but all that had fallen flat eventually. What we can also see is the drone cameras uh, are being brought on the spot as well uh, to keep uh, constant monitoring from the top and the drones are still in the air out there taking stock of the situation as to what is unfolding. So clearly a bird's eye view also being kept at Sindhu yes. border. This is, uh, you know, high tech uh, uh, equipments are also being used to ensure that they have all the angles and bird's eye view of uh, uh, Singhu border as and when the farmers reach here.